Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand regular expressions in JavaScript. We understood what is REGEXP, we understood various applications of regular expressions, we understood how do we define a variable of type regular expression, we understood regular expression methods like test method and EXEC method. In the previous video tutorial, we understood using flags with regular expressions. For example, I flag and G flag. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss using meta characters with regular expressions. We know that sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression in JavaScript. Sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression in JavaScript. What are meta characters? Meta characters are reserved characters which have special meaning during processing a search pattern. What are meta characters? Meta characters are reserved characters. Meta characters are reserved characters which have special meaning while processing a search pattern guys. For example, dot indicates a single character except new line dot indicates a single character any single character except new line backward slash dot indicates a dot character itself not the regular expression dot guys remember that backward slash symbol is used to suppress the meaning of a character backward slash symbol is used to suppress the meaning of a character guys for example in regular expression dot indicates any single character except new line when you say backward slash dot what it indicates it indicates the dot character itself not the regular expression dot backward slash w indicates any word character it can be an alphabet digit or underscore backward slash d indicates any digit between 0 to 9 guys Let's have a demo and understand step by step how do we use these meta characters with regular expressions. I minimize here, I minimize it, I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. I have already written the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. In the body section, I have written script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default page. Title is set to default page. Here inside the script tag, I say document.write bracket bracket semicolon. And then I create the regular expression. Here I say agent 007. On the regular expression, I told you that sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression. On the regular expression, I am calling the test method guys. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed the test method. Test method is used to test is there a match or no match between regular expression and the given string. If there is a match, then it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Test method is used to test is there a match or no match between regular expression and the given string? So here, to the test method, I am going to give a string saying, I am agent 007. Now, what are we telling here? We are telling to the test method to check whether there is a sequence of character saying agent 007 in the given string. Whether there is a sequence of characters saying agent 007 in the given string. Of course, we have here agent 007. So definitely it says true guys. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got true. I go back and I say here, for example, I remove this and say agent 007 is the best agent. Here again, I am telling, I am telling to the test method to check whether there is a sequence of characters saying agent 007 in the given string. Of course, in the given string, we have here sequence of characters saying agent 007. Definitely, it shows true, guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, see, we are getting true. I go back and I remove this content from here. Again, I am telling to the test method to check 
whether there is a sequence of characters saying agent 007 in the given string. Of course, we have agent 007, so we'll get true, guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. We are getting true. So there is an exact match we have here. Good. Next, I say here document dot write, and then I say here br. I'm adding a line break. I'm going to copy this code. Control C to copy and paste on. Now what I do, I remove the A character and I put the dot. What I told here, dot indicates any single character except new line. That means now I am telling to the test method to check whether there is a sequence of character starting with any character except the new line and after that GENT007. Of course, we have a sequence of characters here starting with the alphabet A and then GENT007. We have no new line character here. So this is going to say true guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Now I use a digit. I say here nine. Of course, dot indicates any single character. It can be an alphabet. It can be a digit. So definitely we'll get true here. File, save, go to browser and refresh. So we got true. I copy this code and paste down. I use here, let's say plus symbol. So dot indicates any single character except the new line. Of course, plus is not the new line symbol, right? Definitely we'll get true. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste on. This time what I do, I use backward slash n. That's the new line character guys. Dot indicates a single character, any single character except the new line. But this time we have new line character. So definitely we will get here false guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got false. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. And I, I say here backward slash R. Backward slash R is also a new line character. It is called as carriage return. Definitely we'll get false. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we are getting false. So dot indicates any single character except the new line character guys. I hope you understood what is the meaning of dot meta character in regular expressions. Now what I do, I'm going to comment this code for a slash star. And then I say here star for a slash. I'm going to copy this code from here and paste down. Of course, we have here exact match agent 007, agent 007 will get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We understood the dot meta character. Let's understand backward slash dot. What backward slash dot indicates? Backward slash dot indicates a dot character itself, not the regular expression dot guys. That means I'm going to copy this code and paste down. If I say here dot GENT 007, what is the meaning of dot? I told you that dot means any character except the new line. Of course, here we have alphabet GENT 007. It is going to be true guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, we'll get true. But if I say here backward slash dot, what is the meaning of backward slash dot? Backward slash dot means here we must and should have dot character and then GENT 007. But this time we don't have dot here. We have character A will get false. F A L S C false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we are getting false. Whereas if I copy this code and paste down, instead of A, if I put the dot character itself, we are going to get true guys. So first we should have dot, of course we have dot and then GENT 007, GENT 007 will get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. So dot indicates any single character except new line. Backward slash dot indicates there should be a dot character itself. I hope you got clearly understood what is the meaning of backward slash dot. If I copy this code and paste down, I say here, I say here a and then I say backward slash dot 
ENT007. What is the meaning of that? In the given string, we should have sequence of characters saying A and then we should have dot, we should have dot and then ENT007. That's the meaning of this regular expression. We'll get true guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we are getting true. So backward slash dot means there should be a dot character. After the A character, we should have a dot character and then ENT007. So we have ENT007, we are getting true guys. So that is the meaning of backward slash dot. I'm going to comment this code also, control X and say control V and copy this code and paste down. Of course, we have here exact match agent 007, agent 007 will get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Now we understood the dot character and backward slash dot character. Let's understand backward slash W. Backward slash W indicates a word character. It can be an alphabet, digit or underscore. Alphabet, digit or underscore guys. So let me go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Instead of A, I say backward slash W. Backward slash W means there should be an alphabet. Of course, capital letter A is the alphabet and then there should be GENT007. We have GENT007, we'll get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh, we'll get true. Next what I do, I'm going to copy this code and paste down. This time I use the digit, I say here 9, right? Backward slash W indicates it can be an alphabet or digit or underscore. Of course, it is a digit, so we'll get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. So we got true, right? Next, what I do, I copy this code and paste down. I use underscore. Backward slash W indicates the character can be an alphabet, digit or underscore. Of course, we have underscore, we'll get true. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. We got true, right? I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Now what I do, instead of using alphabet, digit or underscore, let's say I say use plus symbol. If I use plus symbol, definitely we'll get false. Why? Because backward slash W indicates there should be an alphabet, digit or underscore. So plus is wrong. We'll get false. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. See, we got false. I hope you guys have clearly understood backward slash W character. I'm going to comment this code also. Control X and Control V. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Here we have exact match. Agent 007, Agent 07 will get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Now we understood what is dot meta character backward slash dot backward slash w let's understand backward slash d backward slash d indicates a digit any digit between 0 to 9 so i go back here i'm going to copy this code and paste down this time i see here backward slash d guys backward slash d so what is the meaning of this code we are telling to the test method to check whether there is a sequence of character in the given string saying agent 00 and then there can be any digit here between 0 to 9. Of course, we have agent 00 and we have a 7. 7 is a digit. So we'll get true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. And I say here, for example, 2. Of course, we have agent 00, agent 00. After that, we should have a digit. Of course, we have a digit, 2 is a digit, file, save, go to browser and refresh, we'll get true. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Now what I do, instead of putting a digit here, I put an alphabet, let's say A. Definitely, we will get false. Because as per the regular expression, in the given string, we should have sequence of characters saying agent 00 and then a digit but we have alphabet, we'll get false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got false. So backward slash D indicates there should be a digit, guys. I comment this code also and paste down. 
so remember guys dot indicates any single character except new line backward slash dot indicates dot character itself not the regular expression dot backward slash w indicates a word character that can be an alphabet digit or underscore backward slash d indicates a digit guys i'll write one more regular expression code here control c and paste here i say a and then i put here four dots 1 2 3 4 so what is the meaning of this regular expression code we are telling to the test method to check whether there is a sequence of character starting with the capital letter a and then we should have four characters four characters they can be any character except new line of course we have g e n t they are not new line characters and then 007 of course 007 we'll get true guys if i say file save go to browser and refresh see we are getting true so that is how the meta characters work guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try the code yourself experiment more if you experiment more you understand more clearly guys for this video tutorial this much is enough friends In the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more on regular expressions step by step if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial